hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Maya and thank you very much for clicking on today's video today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this kind of everyday toned down look with using drugstore makeup or affordable makeup you can find at your local beauty store or the drugstore at affordable prices I feel like I just said the same thing twice but if this is something you'd like to see kindly stick around and um, let's get straight into the video but before we do I'd like to say please do not forget to comment like and subscribe and share my video please guys help me grow my channel and I'll see you at the end bye, bye. 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 Primer. I'm going to be using the Elf Hydrating Primer. And I'm going to massage this into my skin evenly. So for foundation today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable foundation in the shade um deep cool or 9r or 9.c and i'm just going to spread this evenly on my skin on my face yes skin face yes i'm going to use this uh, flat top foundation brush to blend it out For concealer to highlight my face, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer, uh, More Than Concealer in the shade Honey, and this is 338. Just going to put a little bit of here. If I'm being honest with you, my everyday makeup will probably now my everyday makeup will probably be like um, a powder foundation. Because I recently got the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation and I have this other powder foundation from um, NYX but I use it as a powder anyway. But I'm um, being honest with you, my, my proper proper everyday look will be with the powder foundation. And that will be all, like my eyebrow powder foundation and just powder and I'll be out of the door. But let's try something new not something new but this is something i also do and i'm going to use a beauty blender to blend it out so i'm going to raise my eye so that i can go in there My favorite concealer to use is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, but I'm out of it. But I feel like this is going to be my next favorite thing to always use. I'm going to highlight my nose. On top of my non-existent cheekbones, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Concealer Line Define in the shade C18. When I'm contouring, I like to contour in an in an upward motion like this. Now that that is blended all out, I want to set my highlighted areas, but that would mean I'd, I want to set my eyelash, my uh, my eyes as well. So I'm going in, you can see that my eyes has already creased, so I'm just going in to blend that part once again. Okay. 
and then I'm going to set my face with my Maybelline with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, powder in the shade 350 caramel. And then I'm going to set my face with a translucent um, baking powder. This is from Makeup Obsession. So to contour today, I'm going to be using the powder I have just shown on the screen I got from Inglot. And I'm just going to dab into it. And then I'm also going to re reverse contour so that I can make my cheek snatch. And I'm going to be using this Inglot powder. Now that my whole face is set, now that my whole face is set, we are going to start with my eyeshadow look. And today I want to do like a one color eyeshadow look. So the makeup palette, eyeshadow palette I want to use is going to be the Makeup Revolution X Patricia Bright eyeshadow palette. And this isn't the rich in life. If you know Patricia, Patricia Bright, she recently colored, not recently, it's been like a year or two years, <laughs> a year or two years, but she, she partnered she partnered with uh, makeup revolution to um get um some this eyeshadow palette and also like a contour palette which i'll also use as flash and you'll see later on um i'm going to be using this palette as well and the color i'm going to be using basically i want to use two colors so i'm going to be using brown sugar hmm I'm honestly I'm going to use one color which is brown sugar and one of the reasons why I'm using this eyeshadow palette in this um, tutorial is because it's a very beginner friendly eyeshadow palette you can find all your warm and dark tones and you are easy to go so that is I'm just going to put brown sugar all over my lid space Then I'm going to be using um, a loose brush just to blend the edges out. I'm thinking I should go back up, but I don't want to. I'm just blending the edges here because I don't want to use like another transition color, being as this in itself can also be a transition color. So now that that is done, I'm going to wipe off the rest of my face and usually I like to use like a, a face powder especially if I've used something white but I'm going to start from this side. Once my face I'm going to be using Makeup Revolution um gloss the makeup revolution splendid ultra matte bronzer in the shade dark and then for blush i'm going to be using the patricia bright x uh, makeup revolution face palette and this is the you are gold highlights my cheekbones i'm going to be using the same palette i just used to blush i'm going to be using the makeup revolution x patricia bright you are gold face palette and i'm just going to i don't even know if this is very pigmented but oh it's not
For lip liner, I'm going to use the NYX Eyebrow Pencil in the shade um, Dark to line my the outer part of my lips. And then I'm also going to be using the Makeup Revolution Sheer Brilliant Lip Glow. I think the shade is Sheer Head 10 and 121. So to set my face, I'm going to be using the Makeup Obsession Dewy Fix um, Satin Spray. Anyway guys, so I'm, so I'm back with the finished look and this is what my face looks like. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, like, and please, please, please share with your friends and help me grow this channel.